How do you swap a 110 volt receptacle for a 220 volt receptacle? I'm gonna make sure that I show you how to swap this for this because we need to power this window unit. And it is 220. Let's get started. Here's our single pole breaker, the square D box. And there's the wire, white and black and ground so we're going to leave the ground hooked up but we are going to take the neutral wire off okay all right now it's time to take out the 110 volt receptacle checking the power using the ncv no power so let's go ahead and get this thing out of here Got the wires loose, white, black, ground, just in case you don't know how to wire a receptacle. There's where the green ground wire goes, the gold plated uh, connections. This is where your black wire goes. And then the silver, this is where your neutral wire goes, just in case you didn't know. All right, now let's get this thing wired up. Need a flat edge screwdriver. Receptacle is installed, and this is how we wire the receptacle. This bottom terminal says GR, it's the ground, and then the two power wires up here. And now we should measure 240 volts between the black and the white after we install the double pole breaker. All right, I'm gonna put this in. Back to the job, took out that 20 amp single pole breaker and now I've got a double pole 20 amp breaker. So now this will provide the 220 volts to that receptacle. And it was only $17 for this breaker. So very good. New breaker installed, turn it on, verify the voltage. So we should have 220 volts, 240 volts. There we go. Let's go check the receptacle. All right, got the meter set up. Now let's check and see what we got here. We should have 246 volts. Good deal, and you can see the way I'm reading that. Here to here, 246 volts. Now let's take the plug for the unit and go ahead and plug it in. Oh yes, unit's running now, awesome. Now we're gonna read the voltage of a single pole breaker. So I'm gonna to go to this single pole 220 and I'm gonna go from ground, okay, to the breaker. Should read 120 volts and there you go. And what we did was took one of those single pole breakers out and we put in this double pole, 246 volts. All right, and put the cover back on the box. Excellent. We just finished installing this Mac series three ton single zone mini split heat pump system in this little restaurant. Super nice. We took a window unit out that was here. We covered it up and we used the power for that window unit to power our Samsung. Did a great job. I'll show you what we did for the kitchen. Check this out. We installed an exhaust fan. Check it out. I put that exhaust fan on a speed controller so they can turn it on when they want and turn it on what speed they want. Speed controller. This was a good one. The customer inside told me that they were priced $15,000 for a hood for their oven. And I had the idea, there was a window unit right here as well. We took that out, we moved it to the front. It was 220 volts, so that's the reason I replaced that 110 volt receptacle with a 220 and then I changed that single pole breaker to a double pole breaker so that I could run that window unit that was here. Then we got some plywood, we went to tractor supply, we got a exhaust fan, and boom, put it in, put a speed controller on it, and I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Before, they didn't have any exhaust in this kitchen. So I don't even know how they were making it. It was super hot. They had two window units. We put in that three-ton Mac Series single zone Samsung, 
took the window unit out, put, it, put an exhaust fan, and boom. And they had several people come by, give them an estimate, got the estimate on the exhaust to it, got an estimate from a couple other companies. But I came in, I knew exactly what to do. They went with me, my price was a little bit cheaper, and boom, took care of the customer. If you know what you're doing, you can get every job.